All right, so moving on to construction now. If you are having a pocket, you start here at step number one. If not, you can go straight to step number five. Also with the pocket, and this is something you would have thought about way earlier, um, but I've chosen to have my jumper in all the same fabric in case the pocket will match. You can choose, or you could have chosen, um, a different colour or a different pattern um, like design on the fabric if you wanted to. Now having a look at the instruction, it's in the diagram, it shows that the inside of fabric or the wrong side is facing up, okay, um, and that there's a 1.5 centimetre fold. So get your texture pen, might work better on here, and from your bottom edge measure a 1.5 centimetre seam. Now if you're um, cutting is a little bit wonky, maybe just rule a line, because mine is. I'm just going to even that up first. Okay. Remember back to year eight sewing that perfection and attention to detail is key. So I'm just going to even that up best I can. It can be hard to cut polar fleece. You might want a partner to hold it from the other side if you're working with one or have a friend nearby. Okay, all right, that's much more even now. Now I feel more confident to rule my 1.5 seam allowance. Okay, it's going to be much more even. 1 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Okay, looking good. So it says on the bottom edge of the pocket, fold under the seam allowance of 1.5 centimetres. Pin it in place, sew from the underside to the wrong side of the fabric. Okay, so I'm going to fold that up. There we go, that's folded up and I'm going to sew on this side. Okay, straight stitch, so I'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, we are now ready to sew. Now if you're not very confident yet, you can rule where one centimetre is. You might remember from your eight boxer shorts and rule the line. Otherwise, I'll show you another little way you can measure and rule. So see all these lines on your plate here? They're all, you can actually even measure them, 0.5 of a centimetre apart. So you can also use that as a guide. And if it's not for measurement, you can just make sure, for example, the edge of your fabric is always in line with that line, and that means you're sticking a straight line. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already threaded my sheen. Check that a stitch width is on zero. We're stitching a straight line. Stitch length is going to be on around 4 or 4.5. Reason being, this is quite um, thick fabric. So if you do make a mistake, you don't want it to be too hard to unstitch. Remember, press a foot down, 
turning the hand wheel towards you. Couple of stitches. Reverse to secure. And then keep sewing. It's also good to keep in mind that I did a trial run before I started sewing to make sure my machine was threaded okay. Go nice and slow. This is a stretch fabric or quite a cushiony fabric. So it does move a little bit. And you want to make sure your stitching is as accurate as possible. So at the moment my fabric's moving away a little bit. So I'm just going to lift it up, put it back down. Also notice how I'm not pulling and stretching my fabric no, no, while I'm sewing because it will stretch, so I'm just guiding it. Okay, once you get to the end, reverse, press the foot up. Okay, let's have a look. So you will see the stitch on this side, so that's also why you want it to be neat. So, Ruling a line is a good idea if you're not used to using the measurements on the plate. Keep your workstation tidy, put your pins away. All right. Now if we have a look at the instruction booklet, step two and step three says to repeat. So I'll leave you to do that. See ya.